Today we're opening an obnoxious Celtic Guardian tin from 2004 and some other awesome Yu-Gi-Oh packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening a ton of awesome old school packs. We have a couple of first edition Tactical Evolution. We have a first edition Legacy of Darkness, five Crossroads of Chaos, maybe we'll get that Ghost Road Black Rose, and then we're opening the 2004 obnoxious Celtic Guardian tin. This should be a pretty fun one, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Spellbinding Circle. We got the Gaia and the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know what you want to see pulled from these packs. First, we are going to start with the Legacy of Darkness and the five Crossroads. Of chaos. These were bought by Robert D on Ruxin34.com. So let's see if we can pull him something good. All of these were purchased on Ruxin34.com. So you guys can go check those out. We do have a lot of tactical evolution available right now. So if you guys want some of those, check that out. Here we go. We have an iron chain blaster. Let's see if we can get that ghost rare black rose. I've never pulled that. That would be insane. I would love to do that. We've got a nettles. Bamboo scrap. Tiger Drag... Wait, does this... I, I think it does have an extra... It'd have a foil after, maybe? Yep, it has a super rare Hanwada Super. This card looks really clean. I don't think it's really of any count in terms of value or playability, but it does look really nice. Just that very clean background I really like. So we are starting off with a nice pull already. That's a good start. Let's go into the second Black Rose Dragon Pack, aka Crossroads of Chaos. Always want to call it the cover card is the name. So I think it was the... Let's do three. I can't remember exactly. It might have been the fifth or the sixth. Where's the actual foil? We have Psychic Jumper. We have Factory of 100 Genzos. And then we have Wall of Ivy. Teleport. The Synchro Strike. Nettles. Lineage of Destruction. Okay, so I did... Yeah, I get, did get it right. Miracle Fertilizer. And the Psychic Trigger. Another super rare. Back to back. That is not bad. Back-to-back -back foils and Crossroads of Chaos. They are not guaranteed back then. The set came out in 2008, so they're extremely old at this point. Let's see. Two for two. So both supers. Let's see if we can step it up into like an ultra rare or something like that. Let's see if we can pull a ghost rare, an ultimate rare. All of it is available. Secret rare. There's tons of rarities in this set. Horsey Tail. Fragrant Storm. Morphtronic Cameran. Revival Gift. Healing Wave Generator. The Copy Plant. Cactus Fighter, okay, and we go three for three. Oh, an ultimate rare, Seed of Flame. Why is it always Seed of Flame? Oh my goodness, but we'll take that. Ultimate rare is actually insane. I think it's usually the ultra of this, so pulling an ulti is actually really awesome. An ultimate rare, Seed of Flame. It looks really beautiful, too. Okay, he's officially three for three. He has three packs left. That is nuts. What in the world? Three for three. What a start. Maybe we can go and open every single pack in this video with pull foil. It's possible, yet unlikely. We have goes and match, which is like a $4 card. That's a great start to this pack. Okay, cool. We got a gadget driver. Confusion chaff. Fragrant storm. The goes and match again. Morphtronic cord. Botanical girl. DNA checkup. Psychic Life Trancer. Okay, that's cool. And... Okay, Morphtronic Engine. So the first one that did not have a foil. That's actually insane. Still two more packs to go. We've got one more Crossroads of Chaos. Will we pull something absolutely epic? So far, we've already got an Ultimate, which is pretty crazy out of only five packs. Okay, let's go like that. We've got Morphtronics coming up. Let's do three. Let's save that Ghost Rare for last. Factory of 100 Genzos. Jade Knight. Gadget Holler. Morph Transition. Morphtronic Cameraman. He's the cameraman. We got the cord. We got the morph transition again. Okay, that's weird. Turbo Synchron. That's cool. And. Ah, oh, Iron Chain Snake. So we're going to end 0 for 2, but. Well, not end, but for the crossroads. But that's not bad. Still, 3 out of 5 is still insane. Let's go into the Legacy of Darkness pack. Can we pull something crazy? Let's do this. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4. Because there's only a rare or a foil in this one. Because this is 2003 we're talking about. Nearly 20 years old at this point. Dragon Manipulator. Life Absorbing Machine. The Illusory Gentleman. A Legendary Ocean. Faint Plan. Skull Knight number two. Dragon's Rage. Uryu Kishin Clown. And... The A-Forces. All right, just the A-Forces out of that pack, but still three out of six. Started three for three, ended 0 for three, but overall 50% is pretty good. Next up, we have the Legend EX Gamer with two first edition tactical evolution packs. This could have a ghost rare rainbow dragon in it. That would be pretty insane. Let's go. If we pull that, we will go crazy because that's first edition and everything. Let's do, I think it's probably four, but we're going to do three. We have Venom Shot. We've got the King Pyron. Creature Seizure, cool uh, for Gemini's and normal monsters. Volcanic Rat, Snake Whistle. 
The Ojama Knight. I think it's worth a couple bucks. Razor Lizard. Trap Reclamation. Is that it? Wait, is that it? Chrysalis Pantail. Okay. Yeah, I think that there's not both in this one. This was 2007, so I think back... I think it was 2008 was when they started it. When they started adding uh, both rares and foils. Oh, look, gift card. This is actually worth a lot. Let's put it like this, because we're not sure how it'll be. Reverse of Neo, so we got the Gravatic Orb. I think gift card was worth like 15 bucks at one point. I don't know if it ever got reprinted. So if that's a $15 card, that's awesome. Shield Spear, one of the best cards ever. Venom Cobra. The Flint Missile. And a Blazewing Butterfly. So there's a super rare out of the second Tactical Evolution pack. So a gift card, which could be worth a lot as a common, and a Blazewing Butterfly. Not a bad pack. Finally, we're opening the Obnoxious Celtic Guardian tin. This was bought by Carl M. He also wanted me to shout out his wife, Hannah. So shout out to Hannah. Hopefully we can pull you guys something awesome, and hopefully you guys have fun watching this. Let's get into it. All right, I think I can just rip this one. Yeah, because it's the, the tin wrapping is pretty loose, which is kind of weird, but... It's not weird for tins. It's just weird in general that they made the tins have loose wrapping. Some people always think that, or ask me, and they're like, hey, is that weird that it has loose wrapping? I'm like, no, it's actually normal. It just seems odd. You know what I mean? Okay. The promo. Let's see if it's in nice condition. It's always in these plastic things, which are difficult to open. All right. We have the obnoxious Celtic Guardian. The front looks good. Seek Rare looks beautiful on this card. I love this card. It looks really cool. Let's see how the back is. Looks clean on the surface. Okay. Corners appear to be pretty good so that's a nice condition obnoxious celtic guardian that's a good start for the 10 inside we have ancient sanctuary invasion of chaos dark crisis magician's force and pharaonic guardian this is an incredible lineup of 10 packs let's start off with the ancient sanctuary and let's see what we can pull there's some pretty cool cards enemy controller is one of my favorite ones of course dark magic attack burst stream of destruction there's an uh what's it called the the goat card it's like a uh it's a, it's a common card. It's the uh, Night Assailant. There we go. I finally got it. Fiend Scorpion. Labyrinth of Nightmare. There we go. We got a Labyrinth of Nightmare pack, even if we didn't get to open one. Regeneration. Regenerating Mummy. Weapon Change. The Kick Man. All right. Sword of Soul Eater. Nubian Guard. The Backfire. Draining Shield. So we just get a regular Draining Shield. This brings back so many bad memories from Weevil decks and Duel Links. <laughs> Next up is Dark Crisis. Inside we could pull Skill Drain, which is now a $30 rare, I think, because it got unlimited to three, basically. So it is insane. If we can pull that, that's a big value card. Hopefully we could. I mean, it's just a regular rare, too. So that would be pretty fun. We got the Guardian Chaos. Checkmate. We're playing some chess. We got the final attack orders. Outstanding Dog Marin. This is one of Chelsea's favorite cards because she loves the dog. Okay. Keldo. Sakuretsu armor, a very good common. Not worth a ton because it's very easy to uh, to get. Rod of the Mind's Eye. Blindly Loyal Goblin. Okay. And? Oh, I thought it might be Skill Drain. It was a trap. Dark Scorpion combination. Still cool, but it's not the Skill Drain we're looking for. Veronic Guardian. Inside here, we could get Metamorphosis, which is a $15 common. There's also Trap Dust Sheet, which is several dollars. And many other good commons. I think Terraforming's in here. There's Book of Moon is a rare. There's just... Speaking of trap dust shoot, there it is. That's like eight dollars, I think. Is it near mint unlimited? We've got the reversal quiz. There is the uh, what is it? What is it called? Question. Yeah, it's that card. That guy, Buster Rancher, Poison Mummy. Here it comes. Wait, trap dust shoot. Oh, I'm, I'm insane. That was crazy. Okay, Gravekeeper's Curse. Can we get the Metamorphosis in the same pack? Banner of Courage with the Curse of Aging. Trap of Border. I did the. I did the, pat the trick wrong. We got the super rare Trap of Board Eraser. This card's actually not that bad, I guess. It's kind of weird. It's like a worse barrel behind the door. Okay, it's, it's not good, but it's like a side deck, I guess, in old school. Pretty cool. We're on to the final two, the big two, Invasion of Chaos, Magician's Force. Let's go for IOC. Can we pull the Black Lizard Soldier? We, we opened the Floodgates the other day. We've opened two now, which is pretty crazy. Let's see if we can do it again. Whew, let's go. One, two, three, four. We have the Gale Lizard, DD Borderline, Spatial Collapse, Ojama Yellow, Neobug, that's a big card, Salvage, the Sylphid, Fiend's Hand Mirror, and will it be one of the big ones? BLS, Demok, here we go. <gasps> Insect Princess! <laughs> no! It's like the most disappointing ultra rare, but it does. It is pretty nice artwork. I mean, it's a nice looking card for sure. It's just like you're like, oh, an ultra rare. Oh, insect princess. Okay, but still, very cool to get an ultra rare out of IOC. We will take that. IOC is a weird one because it has so many big cards and then so many kind of like dud cards. They're still really cool. Definitely nostalgic for a lot of people pulling that insect princess. Let's get into the MFC pack. Now here's where we could really go crazy. 
Can we get DMG? I'm still not even sure if you can pull these out of these packs, but maybe you can. If you can, I would love to find out today. Let's go. Old Vindictive. That's another great common card. Good start. Mass Driver. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> First episode ever of Auction Series. Poison of the Old Man. The Aitsu. Look at this classic guy. He seems to be very unreliable, but he might be might have incredible potential. Why did I start shaking right there? That was weird. Okay. <laughs> People running about. The Spell Absorbing Life. Magical Plant Mandragola. Hidden Book of Spell. And... Dark Blade, the Dragon Knight. Not even the Dragon Knight. That's the different card. That's Rise of Destiny. Just Dark Blade, the regular guy. Okay, cool. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mighty Nance, Mimic Gecko. Spike Bit Farley, G Raider, Daxter, and Ian Moose. So thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.